So thank you for that. Now my next question is so to Miss Andy. Yes, Miss Andy, a lot of people are actually um, wondering about this. What is your parenting style to Miss Maria? Like, did you have five kids? That is no joke. It, well, is there like a different parenting style, parenting style per child, or was there? Is it similar to all? How did you raise her? Okay. First, I'd like to say it's so nice that SM is giving so much importance to super multitasking loving mothers. It's about nothing. <laughs> Um, anyway, thank you for that. Um, I'm more of the lenient one. My husband is the very strict one. <laughs> and uh, I think there's a big difference, you know, swerte ng mga young mothers now because of the modern technology uh, in terms of communication, in terms of uh, research on certain things that you need to learn and know about. Mothers now, the way should I say millennial moms? <laughs> the young generation now, they're, I, I think they're more conscious, they're more aware of, um, and they're more careful on how to deal with their children and how to bring, up, bring them up in a proper way, in a loving way, and that's good. Um, unlike during our time, we just, it's a hit and miss thing. Eh? motherhood also with the, with the mothers now you will make mistakes and you learn from them and then you do better you know um with us we learn from our mothers first and foremost how to take care of babies our children you know uh you take in some some of it you don't <laughs> and then <laughs> uh, uh just like what uh Sheena said yeah. it's important that uh, children know and feel that they are loved. Three things I think um, now, before and then even now, that's very important for mothers. You have to have uh, he three healthy things that you should know about. First is physical and mental. You should be healthy in that. And then emotional and relationship-wise in terms of your relationship with your husband. If children see how much you love each other and honor each other, it goes without saying the child will grow up feeling confident and knowing that he or she has a good family, belongs to a good family. You know? And then also spiritual, it's very important. Uh, you can still or place a skill on your children the importance of who God is in their lives. So moms now, I think it's, um, I wish I could be a mother again, you know. I think it's more of they really enjoy being a mother and uh, they give more time uh, to their children than during our time. We had to really work hard and most of, most of the time they're left at home. Uh, with the mothers now, they make sure they give time to their children. They, they put so much time to their children and they get involved in every little thing, every little development with their children. That's how I see it. Thank you so very much, Ms. Okay, now my last question, you being a super kid of a super mom, was there ever like a favorite childhood memory of yours or even like a recent memory of yours that Made you really think, yeah, my mom's super, super. I mean, how she's able to do this, I have no idea. Is there that particular moment you can actually think of and share with all of us? Well, yeah, there are, there are a few moments which I can tell, well, I can say that she is a super mom. Like, uh, when we were all really small, me and my siblings, they would take us all to America and take us to Disneyland. So I, I can't imagine taking care of five kids in this event. Yeah. So, Ryan. No, yeah, yeah. No, when we got to yeah. the States. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just my mom, my dad, and us five kids. So I, I can't imagine that. And actually recently, a few years ago, my brother was diagnosed with cancer. <laughs> um, yeah, she, she had to fly there to America because he was living there at that time. So she had to fly back and forth, Philippines, America. Yeah. Um, so she showed us how to be strong for our family, for our brother, and 
And not only that, because during that time, she was also dealing with her kidney joints. So, yeah, health problems. And then, yeah, it just showed us, not only me, but also my siblings, how strong she is. Um, in terms of not only physically, but also mentally and emotionally. And what motivates her, I think, is her love for us. It's cancer free now. Oh, congratulations. Thank you for sharing. And ma'am, I really can relate because even my mom, she's undergoing dialysis. And every day when she well, every time she's at four and a half hours, she you know tells me the reason why she's still there. She wants to see me every single day. And it's really, really amazing. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, um, you become really selfless when you become a mother. 